trust anyone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today we are watching Scream 6, the movie. Uh, I actually have not seen any Scream movie, to be honest with you. I have, however, watched like recaps and the Dead Meat series for the kill counts for the other Screams. Plus I have a friend who love Scream, so he's kind of giving me a lowdown on what happened in the last Scream, and then I saw recaps and, you know, reviews and all that, so I'd never actually sat through a full Scream movie ever, so I don't know why I decided to do it this time, but... I figured, you know, since I know how the other ones all end and, you know, all the killers and stuff like that, I figured, well, this is the newest one. I don't know anything about it. I have managed to stay away from every spoiler possible, so I know nothing about this, with the exception of one spoiler, and that was by accident. <laughs> So, a certain actor was at a convention, he happened to say something that made it seem like he was in the movie when he really shouldn't have been in the movie, but... So, but I didn't get anything real spoilery out of it, just that he's in the movie. But, but I am very interested to see what they do with this. I'm not the biggest fan of scary movies, but Scream, I think, is, like, the least scariest movie when it comes to, like, the horror genre, at least how I see it. Yes, it's still scary, but when you, like, compare it to some of the other horror movies out there, I feel like it's the least scariest. It's more... I think I would take it more of a stalker film than a horror movie if I was to kind of look at them. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think I would watch, like, Halloween. That might not be my type of cup of tea, but Scream, it kind of makes fun of itself, so. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Maybe at the end of this, I'll sit he here and be freaked out for the next two weeks. But, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, I, I am excited to watch it and see what happens. And I am excited to share this with you. It is one of the first video videos, first movies that I am doing as a reaction. Uh, I have proposed movies before. And you guys seem to be cool with it, but I've never really figured out which movies to do, so we're doing this one. Now, now that I've rambled on for quite some time about what the movie is, what I'm doing, I'm gonna just stop and before we get into the movie, if you're enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe if you have anything you want to say about the episode. About the movie or its rea or the reaction, please comment down below. Uh, I will be posting this on my Patreon. You can find that in the description below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And without further ado, let's get into the movie. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool with the heartbeat. And the phone call. Because the movie always starts with a phone call. Oh, but it's not starting with a killing? I mean, like, a Someone getting a call from Ghostface? Interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, I feel like she's gonna die. Flashes, huh? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> um, uh, so why slashes? <laughs> did they just so they referenced Scream and made it seem like it was? Oh no, that's right because there's the stabbers. Um, yeah, I'm more of a rom com guy to be honest. Okay, they got my brain honestly forgot about the stab franchise within the Scream franchise. I don't see anything red. I am. Um, I could be wrong. Um, let me just, um, you know how long it's safe? Yeah, you're definitely gonna die, honey. I don't see you. Wait, really? Are you sure? No. Don't. Don't. You're gonna get killed, honey. Well, um, uh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. What? That's the worst part. The worst part is you teach a class about slashers. And you still walked into a dark alley alone. Yeah. That's not funny. <laughs> no. It's not. <laughs> get get out of the alley, honey. <laughs> <laughs> She was gonna die. Oh, damn, that is overkill. Now I see something red. Ooh. That's what's his face from Spider Man. Okay. I'm confused. That was weird. That was very weird. I am so confused. So he is another stab enthusiast. Okay. Because that seems to be the going theme of all the killers is stab enthusiasts. You said we wouldn't use the voice on each other. We said a lot of things. This is Greg, right? <laughs> so now Ghostface is... Ghost facing him. I want to tell you about it. And when the knife went in her, it's like she wasn't human anymore. Just an end. And He's going to be the next to die. Way, we're finishing Richie's film. That's right. By killing Sam and Tara. Why are you fucking with me? Oh. Why won't you tell me where you are? So he Why knows Richie. All right, douchebag. Let's play. Okay. Is he gonna find Jason's, I mean, Greg's dead body? He's gonna find Greg's dead body, isn't he? Oh my god! I expect 
to just see. Craig's dead body, but not. Oh! Oh! I have trust issues. I mean, rightfully so. And when it got out that I'm Billy's daughter, this crazy rumor started online that I orchestrated the whole thing and framed them. Oh! Interesting. I've stabbed him 22 times and slit his throat. Oh! <laughs> I shot him in the head. But that's not why I'm here. Then why are you there? Because... It felt right. Okay, then. I'm asking for your help. By law, I'm required to report this to the authorities. Report it? Report what? Mm -hmm. I didn't say I was going to do anything. Not explicitly, no. You know what? Yeah, she didn't okay. say anything. Darn, girl, you have a lot of fox. But, you know, after everything you've been through, hey. doesn't, I can understand it. Kara? Yeah, she's at the frat party. Isn't she? Oh, still once. Oh, we need you laugh. <laughs> Not at all. Have you seen Tara? Um, don't be mad. Why would I be mad? Because you'd be mad. Is that Paul? <laughs> oh, it's a cute boy shirt. Let's see. <laughs> Always you, lady. We've been checking each other out for months, but I just talked to him because that right there is about all the romantic interaction I'm ready for. I'm gonna go find Tara. Okay. That's Be right back. just Bye. in point. I mean, being at a house party after you were almost brutally murdered at a house party. No, I think of it like being struck by lightning. The odds of it happening twice to the same person are extremely low. Huh. <laughs> you clearly haven't met. Do we? <laughs> that man was shot multiple times. Where from? Michigan. All right. Liar. You know what? I got a bottle of fireball in my room. Don't do that, Tara. I'm Frankie. And I'm spectacularly uninterested in knowing anything about you. <laughs> Go not with them. Anybody, not that bad. Spend your entire meal all on your own. <laughs> <laughs> hey, excuse me. How are you? My friend here is a snack, right? Aww. Tara's good down here. Sorry, bro, I didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Look how protective they are. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. But I love how protective they are. <laughs> oh! Oh! Just trying to look out for you. I I know. I know you are. You can't do it for the rest of my life though. She's gone damn well try. You have to let me go. Yeah, I I I have tissues if you like tissues. <laughs> yeah, like tissues are gonna help. But how did they make it all, all her fault? How did they set it up that she is the one behind everything. Hey. I don't get that. It's actually looking forward to getting some shots in my camp. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Bring it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, is this going to be a thing? Thank you. Sometimes you got to stick together. 
And besides, you can do a lot better than date rape Frankie. Tara, you're... I think you're really special. Yeah, I think something's gonna happen here. Cock fuck you. Mm. What did you just say? I cock fuck you. No. I cock fuck you, didn't I? <laughs> 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 Yeah, she definitely has a thing for him. Ooh. Are you gonna go for it? I mean, that man is sexy. I pretty much loved him since he was on Chicago PD, so... Um, I'm guessing they've done this before. Ah. Uh. Not ready. I know, I know. For your sister and your friends to know that you enjoy physical contact with another human being. Pack a bag. We leave in ten. Sam. Sam, we're getting out of the city. What? Yeah. Thank you very much, suspicious new guy. Thank you very much, suspicious new guy. Oh my god, I love him. I'm calling you now. Thank you. Hello. 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 Had the license. Man, is Gail again? Oh no, it's Richie. What the fuck? I never deleted his contact. So how? He's coming from his number. Don't pick that up. Just let it ring. Sam. No, she's got answer it. Who is this? You and Tara better watch your back. You better watch yours. <laughs> Where are you? Oh my god! Oh, and this is where they're in the grocery store. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh! 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 Oh my god! And he's gone. Oh! Oh! A lot of bloodshed! This, they really went crazy with the, uh, Graphics for everyone's kill. Oh, where the oh, there they are. It's like where the fuck did they go? Keep calm, Tara. Keep calm. What are you gonna do, Sam? Oh, distract him. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that only worked for so long.
Dang. Of course he's going to be gone. You're going to blame Sam for it. DNA says that it belonged to someone named Richie Kirsch. Oh. Is that ring about? Yeah, but he's dead. We're familiar with him. I was at my therapist. I can give you his information. You can call to check if you want. And then I met Tara at that party where I tased someone. I'm related. It's <laughs> implanted next to the body. And it'd probably be somebody close to you. Always is. I want to be on your Do either of you have anyone that might want to target you? <laughs> Not anyone you still love. Yikes. FBI's here. Living jurisdiction. Where are they? <laughs> oh, this is the other spoiler that I knew. Can I help you? But it didn't really do much other than. Special Agent Kirby Reed, FBI. Explain how she can't. Got back in. We take a special interest in ghost face attacks. Kirby? Hey, Sam. What? Oh, Shara. Sam? You're the FBI? Sam and Kirby? Nice Sam and Tara yeah. know Kirby? We went to Woodsboro High together. She was a senior and I was a freshman. Uh, ah. Sure a certain history. Yeah. Hey, Weathers, Channel 4. Do you ladies think you're the reason that ghost face killer has come to the Big Apple? Oh. Nice try, sweetie. But I've done this dance before. Oh. <laughs> After everything we went through together, what would Julie think? Oh. That's a low blow. So was your book. I talked to Sydney. She's not coming here, is she? No. She sends her love, but she's taking Mark and the kids someplace safe. She deserves to have her happy ending. That she does. And I guess this agree. explains why she's not. Hey, I want to catch this fucker as much as you do. Maybe. Or maybe you're just afraid that without ghost face in your life, you're going to fade away. <laughs> oh. Sam's alibi. He's going to die. You're a day early for trick or treating, you know. Oh! oh Damn. And why did he just. The door was open? And now he's gonna take Sam's file. Okay. That's. Okay then. There goes Sam's alibi. See it? Someone is out to make a sequel to the requel. Um, what's that requel? You're beautiful, sweetie. Let's hold questions to the end. <laughs> one to because nobody just makes sequels anymore. We're in a franchise! And there are certain <laughs> It's not looking too good for Gail and Kirby. Oh, and that's not even the worst part. <laughs> this is the first Am I gonna die a virgin? That was a weird overshare, but it brings <laughs> us to our current suspect. And you know we vetted her, plus her dad is a cop, and that makes it more likely that she's the killer because having a cop dad is a great cover. Do you not remember how these movies work, Tara? <laughs> I like her. Yes. And finally, okay, so we have our rules, and we have our suspects. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh, yes, like never trust the love interest. I mean, I think it's to be honest here, some of the theories online about Sam are... Don't you fucking dare. Ooh. Okay. She's right, though. I mean, if face facts, if we're all suspects, you're all suspects. I mean, they're not wrong. Remember, it looks like he's counting down to something. What happens when he gets to one? That's a good question. And tell your daughter to stay sharp. Perhaps somebody did the carpenters, perhaps somebody did his face. Where is she going? Hey, Jack. Call the Atlanta field office. 
Pick up what you can on Agent Reed. Oh, he doesn't trust her. Interesting. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Uh, uh, will you two just make out already? You, you are so <laughs> inappropriate. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, what? So hey, adorable. Yeah? You can't just give yourself the nickname, Dingus. Oh, of course I can, Dingus, because I just did. Core four, up top. No. Darn Get that away from me. Please, for the love of God. I did a woman on the street last night. Yeah, except they're only showing part of that. Again, I don't understand how they... There were plenty of witnesses that... We are the core fucking fault. Thank you very much. I hate you. Say it. No, I'm not going to say it. No, no. Core I mean, core yes, we are. It's got a nice ring to it. I've been sleeping with cute boy from across the hall. Ooh. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, I know she's my roommate, but you're like... The police. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. No, answer the phone. <laughs> Yeah, you should have answered the phone. No. Uh -huh. Oh, all the knives are gone. so much. Oh! Oh, so he killed the boyfriend and then killed... No! Don't stand there! Okay, good. I thought she was gonna get stabbed through the door. Oh, and this is where they crawl across. Keep eyes on me. Keep eyes on me. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on. Come on, Sam. No, you won't. She's gonna die. She's not part of the core four, so she's gonna die. Come on, Mindy. No, she's not. She gonna die. She's going too slow. Yes, you can! Come on, girl! You're gonna die! Come on, Annika! Come on! You got this! You got this! No, don't stop! Come on! Oh, God! Then keep moving! Come on. Yeah, you shouldn't have stopped moving. Okay, stop looking at her! Wait, he just walked away? I 
I mean, he's right. Don't trust anyone. Oh, how convenient. Dude, I was in a study hall with a hundred other people. You can ask any of them. <laughs> oh, and there he is. Realizing his daughter's dead. They took me out of the case. Right. Rightfully so. I mean, sorry I punched you. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You're the cop, right? Gail, she's with the FBI. She's a child. Why are you letting children into the FBI? I'm 30. Well, you look like a zygote. I have a gun, Gail. Okay, fine. You're going to want to see this, too. Don't worry. I'm just really good at my job. We'll get there. <laughs> A lot of quotes from the original. What's your favorite scary movie? Want to play a game? And there it is. All oh, the ghost face. Tatum's outfit! And that's Stu's mocker's robe. Sydney. The whole goddamn franchise. That's from her killing. Oh. And that Casey's boyfriend? Chad? This is Uncle Randy's. They've got everything. Knife. Is that the knife I was stabbed with? You all have been through so much. And there's Dewey's outfit. Or is that... Uh... His deputy's outfit. Dewey. I hate how they killed off Dewey. Billy. Ah, damn, how fucking cool is this place? Fuck no. Fuck yes. Come on, Sam, you gotta be excited to get our murder on again. Together. Billy and there's Sam, Team Loomis. Billy Loomis. Get ready to slice up more motherfuckers. You're not your father. What are you doing? So, why is Billy's in a box? TV that killed Stumacher. If you believe it's dead. I hear you're a horror fan. <laughs> <There's some side. laughs> Best Nightmare on Elm Street. The original. <laughs> Best Friday the 13th. Part Final 2. Chapter. Had a crush on Corey Feldman. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Psycho 2 is underrated. Candyman. The original or recall? Both. Okay. Okay. Game recognized game. <laughs> you agree? Sam, when do I get to be a normal person again? It's a good question, Tara. You should ask Sydney that. She, this. She's never been normal. I don't want to be a part of some stupid legacy because of, because of me. I'm sorry. Just drop it soon. Tara, I got her. I was going to say, should she really be running off on her own? That seemed intense. I think I might have an idea about how to turn the tables on this creep. Yeah, we're in. Sorry, Gail. No press allowed. Police business. I'm good at my job, too. <laughs> really, Kirby? You should have stayed with the others. It's not gonna happen. 
There's no point in both of us putting ourselves at risk. No. And a backup. <laughs> I can trace a call in under 15 seconds. I'm sorry, what? Well, this is exactly how our Uncle Randy died. Broad daylight. Public place. Ganked into a van. Stab, stab, stab. No more Randy. Hey, Sam? Hey, Frosty out there. Okay? We're good. Someone tells me that she didn't. Kirby didn't know about Randy. Oh, look, it's Richie. Again. He's inside an apartment building halfway across the city. In West 96? How did you know that? Oh. No press. That's the last time I saw you here in Glee Club. Tell <laughs> me if I don't trust you to keep them safe. Here you go, baby. My friend Tammy worked for the Upper West Side. He didn't get her bunker. Yeah, well, if you finish her off, it's possible he's the killer. We have to get them now. We got a point there. Did you really think they're gonna steal a police car and I use sirens? Did you even have a license? You can't steal a cop car. Yeah, but they just stole a cop car. Oh, is that the Hello? boyfriend? She's got a boyfriend. Who is it? Yeah, let's just call him, please. He says it's the killer. Damn, I really wanted her to answer the phone. Hello? Maybe it's time someone made a buck reporting your death. Ooh. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? And spoiler alert, it never works out for the dipshit in the mask. <gasps> Ooh, okay. You couldn't stop what happened to Dewey, just like you're not going to be able to stop this. Ooh. Then... <laughs> Oh, the iconic <laughs> cleaning of the knife. Yes, run! Damn, he just like took. That's right, Gail. Come on. Oh, no! You got this, Gail. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Come on. Oh. Come on, Gail. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head. It's always a headshot. Always gotta do a headshot. It was always all about poor sweet Sydney sucking up all the oxygen. What did that leave you to be? The brains and the sex appeal? <laughs> Sorry about your boyfriend. Can you hold, please? What? Did she really just pull a reverse call? Oh! No! We killed Dewey! We're not allowed to kill Gail, especially when she's this smart! But damn, she's always injured! No, don't kill her! Do not kill Gail! Gail is not allowed to die! <gasps> no! 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 Gail is not! Allowed to die. Fuck you. 
Oh, thank God. He didn't get me. Tell Sydney. Never got me. Hmm? No! Gail's not allowed to die! Gail? 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 Please. Out of the way. Out of the way. Gail, you gotta move. No, move. No. No. Okay. no. Please. No, Gail is not allowed to die. Got a weak pulse. Oh, thank God. We need to move now. We already lost Dewey. We're not allowed to lose Gail too. I mean, technically, we lost Sydney too, but she's not dead. You have to let us protect you this time. Yes. We're a team, remember? Actually, we're family. Let's go! Core four! Come on! <laughs> Core four! Core what? That's an awesome thing. <laughs> Isn't there somewhere like. And then what? We execute him. Say what? So we just peel off and the killer picks us off one by one. No, thank you. Let's just get to the theater. Come on. But I mean, should they have told the two people who they suspect? Well, Mindy and the other guy aren't there. Mindy's not there. Uh, yeah, because it's Halloween. So there's a couple ghost face there. Yep. Ghost face on that one too, so. Except that one just seems to be staring at them. But of course, in every ghost face, there's two killers, so clearly there'll be one on the on one train and one on the other. <laughs> ghost face. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, I get why she's jumpy! No, that one's... Because that one's not creepy or anything. And that one's still staring at them. Oh, okay. Aw, that was kind of cute that he was being protective. No, is Ghostface gonna be on that train? Don't don't lean against that girl. Don't lean against that. But that Ghostface is creeping me out. Oh, yeah, that one's creeping me out. Oh, and it's getting closer. Okay, where's, where's Ethan? Where's Ethan? What? Oh, there's Ethan, and the ghost face is gone. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she was. Where are Mindy and Ethan? They're five minutes behind us. Yeah, they ain't coming. So then, why'd you let him come with you? 
I am the only one with a badge here, and that's the way it's going to be. We're safe here. Are you sure? I'm going to check in with Mindy, see if they're close. I don't know. Kirby kind of gives me... You know you're not safe here. Whenever someone says we're safe here, it means you're not. Not now. You're smarter than this, Sam. Grab a weapon and clear this place yourself. You know I'm right. I would actually listen to him. But I mean, is grabbing that weapon the correct, right way to go? Excellent choice. Not to mention that the my favorite blood is still red on that knife. It would Ruby? not be red. She's no longer with the FBI. Oh. 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 Kirby. You got one of these? Yeah, kind of. They're like a hundred years old. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. They are kind of cute. I actually... Ooh! There we go! But of course he doesn't know that his sister has been stabbed and nearly gutted. It's maybe the first thing I wanted to do that. Yeah, you should have done that a lot sooner. Right. But you've been able to do it like a lot more times. that they killed off Chad. I like Chad. What are you doing? Did you kill Cody? you kill my daughter? Jesus Christ! Hey, no, so it ain't Quinn. Whatever he's been saying to you, don't listen to him. He's probably the killer. You two, that just leaves. Quinn? Mindy? <laughs> Ooh! Some bullshit conspiracy theory? Come on. Who do you think started the rumors about me in the first place? Oh. What are you talking? You said your brother died in a car accident. No, 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 no. He's so dumb. He died in what's world. The hands of your bitch sister. Ooh, Richie is their brother. You're Richie's family. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh! There's a very special bond between a father and his first son. Look at Richie. He was a limp dick little fuck who cried before I slit his throat. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> damn, Kirby, damn! <laughs> oh! You know, 
with the exception of they're all kind of still alive. They're headshot. Did you learn nothing from Mindy? Come on. Let her go. Come on. <laughs> but she got you. Yeah. You brought a knife to a gunfight, girl. Looks like you're down another brother. Headshot, yes! Always gotta shoot him in the head. <gasps> no! No more bullets. Okay. Oh, they're calling him. Probably the one who's still alive. I don't think that's Sam. Oh, damn. Oh, it is Sam. My father was a murderer. <laughs> no matter what you think, I'm better than that. Get you stabbed him like multiple times. Oh, you. <laughs> you did fuck with our family, so. Getting help for for Kirby. I know you can take care of yourself. I promise you, I'm gonna get so much therapy. I'm serious. So, what about Kirby? We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> He died just like Stu. I saw that in a scary movie once. And there's Kirby. Oh For once, it wasn't the love interest. But Chad's really dead. Oh, he survived! Oh, my God! How are you alive? He's the Dewey of the group. Hey, Quinn, fuck! Did I miss the one log again? Okay. 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 Did she keep the knife? Oh, no, she kept her father's mask.
All right, just like I thought, it wasn't as scary as, you know, I kind of made it out to be. Because I always thought that, you know, like, Scream was a scary franchise. But I think uh, it, I just made it out to be a scary franchise. And sure enough, it was not. At least this episode was scary. They did have, like, jump scares and all that. Uh, but it wasn't, like, horror, classic really scary like I'm not gonna sleep for the next year type of scary because those type of horror movies I don't tend to watch uh because I get very easily scared which I I have mentioned before like well, I know that was one of the things that like kept me away from watching Supernatural for a long time because I thought like, it was scary. It's like the first two seasons are like really kind of freaky. And <laughs> it always scared me. But this was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> I sat there trying to figure out who it was. I was slightly convinced that it was the neighbor. And I was going to be very disappointed because he's gorgeous and I love him. Um, like I said, I've been a fan of him since I first saw him on Chicago PD. He will always be, um, Justin Voigt to me. Always. <laughs> it doesn't matter who he plays, but he'll always be Justin Voigt to me. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and for the longest time, you, you definitely thought it was just one killer, which... I know is like a pattern they do in the the series the the franchise is because that's what you always thought it was just one killer then it turns out to be two killers with the exception of the third movie which it was only one killer which uh, from what I've heard in interviews and in from what my friend has said and other things is that they ended up changing. The third, ep the third episode, the third movie due to Columbine, so they just like took the entire script and reworked it, so what they originally had planned ended up being something completely different, so I can see why it didn't really fit the mold of the series, of the uh, franchise, but yeah, it was always two killers, and in this one, they technically had, what, three killers? But I don't know if the father actually really killed anyone or if it was just the two kids. And it's the thing that I love the most is both Mindy and Dewey did this. So De Dewey did it in the last movie where he sat there going, never trust the love interest. The love interest is always, you know, the bad guy. So he's basically telling you who the killer was. Because you end up finding out that it was Richie in the end of the last ep the last movie. And in this movie, you got, <clears throat> you know, Mindy saying how it was the two roommates. She said it differently, but she pointed them out saying it was the two roommates who, you know, orchestrated the way to get to, um, you know... Sam and Chad and she s stated it right there and then it sure enough it turned out to be the two roommates in the end so <laughs> like I love that they do that I don't know if it's been done in the last really in the movies I think it was done once the other time it was done it was in the first movie was when Stu Mocker actually went out and said that he didn't kill anyone and then um Billy responded is like no one asked you or or something like that so it's like Billy and Billy and Stu kind of had this interaction that you know was very sus but not at the same time so it, it, 
But I don't know if that actually ended up happening in the, uh, in the second, third, and fourth movies. I can't remember. But it is kind of interesting that the movies tell you who the killer is, kind of point blank, without you, like, knowing it, in a sense. Unless, you know, you've... Unless you're, like, a diehard super fan of Screams, then you might be able to figure it out. I know my friend, he, he figures out who's the killer quite easily. So, but I... I've never been one to be like, oh, I know exactly who it is. Sometimes I can, depending on the clues. And this movie, yeah, no. I was not figuring it out at all. I was sitting there going like, who is it? I was, like I said at the very beginning of this, I was convinced that it was the, um, the boyfriend from across the hall. And then I honestly believe that maybe it was Kirby who snapped. Because, and even Ghostface said that too. It's like, you know, saying how it's like it wouldn't have worked for Sydney or Dewey, but for her, maybe it would have if she had snapped and, you know, was the one killing everyone. Because my brain had thought that. And I had mentioned that to my friend, how I was like, well, what if it's like one of those things where it's like, after all these killings, Sydney finally snapped and, you know, she's the one doing it. And he's like, no, that would ruin the franchise. And I'm like, but it probably would have been fun uh, <laughs> to see that. Very much so. But I did very much enjoy the movie. Uh, there were, there was a lot of gore going in that. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like with some movies is they like to add more gore the bigger their budget is. Sometimes, like, less gore is, is nice. That might be me. But, that, like, like I said, that, that might just be a me thing. I just might not be the biggest gore fan. So... And I know some people, like, thrive for, oh, more gore. I need death scenes to be more gory and, you know, add more to it. I'm like, oh, you can just simply do it just by stabbing or shooting. And there doesn't need to be, like, whole intestines falling out. I'm like, no, I don't need that. But that's, that's me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And then, at the very end there, I, I honestly thought Chad was dead. Just like I thought they were gonna kill off Gail. I was like, no, you can't kill off Gail. She is the last, you know, character from the movie, from the original, that's still around. It's like, you don't have Dewey. Uh, you don't have Sydney, because Dewey's dead. Sydney, you know, because they <laughs> lowballed her. Like, that was ridiculous. She is the final girl, main star of this entire franchise, and you are not giving her what what she's worth? Like, no. Girl. But it kind of also would have been nice to, like, have her be, like, a surprise, be like, oh, this was all, like, negotiation, so that way we could surprise you all by having her come in, you know, and work her in, but no, that was not how it all worked. But I do like how they worked in that why she wasn't there. You know, that her, her kids, and her husband, they all left so that way she wouldn't have to deal with this. Which, you know, it's good. So, but it's also kind of nice that they left her, they left her alone. So I guess she was very off the grid that they didn't find her because they're over here. The killers are over here going like, we want to kill anyone who had anything to do with our son's death. She kind of had something to do with his death and didn't, they didn't go after her. So, you know, they're not killing everyone. But anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought they were killing off Gail and I was so sad when I was like, no, they're killing off Chad. Fair enough, he comes rolling out. He's the new Dewey. 
That is what it is. He is the new Dewey because that is one thing that was always Dewey. You always thought Dewey died. And then, you know, at the very end, you'd see him <laughs> being rolled into the ambulance going like, nope, I survived. So he is the new Dewey. <laughs> and him and Tara, oh, so cute. So happy when they, when they were kissing. At the worst time possible, but so happy they were kissing. So, uh, there was one more thing. Oh, okay. So, so I'd mentioned at the beginning and throughout the movie that there was a couple things that I did get spoiled about. Like I said, I did get spoiled about an actor and that was, um, Skate Ulrich. Cause he had stated at a convention, he's like, you know, Nev Campbell, she, she'll like what we did. And I was like, so does that mean he's in the movie? Uh, so, so when I asked my, my friend after he had seen it in theaters, I was like, is he in the movie? And he, he told me, he's like, yes, he's in the movie. And I was like, okay. I was like, I don't need to know anymore. I just kind of was curious. And sure enough, he was like a manifestation, kind of like what happened in the last movie with Sam. So, and then the other one was Kirby being an FBI agent that one I did get spoiled on. I forgot about that one, but that also kind of was how she was brought in because I was not aware of how she was brought in, but that did get spoiled to me, unfortunately. But I didn't watch or like look into it anymore. It was just simply like a quick scene that I think showed up on my like TikTok page or something like that. And I was just like, nope, scroll away. But it was, you know, just a quick, you know, FBI Kirby. So, but otherwise, I managed to stay away from all spoilers. And I'm very proud of myself because this has been out for so long and I've managed to stay away from all spoilers. Because most movies that are like this anticipated or have, you know, such a big fan base. I can never stay away from spoilers because there's always someone going like, oh my god, this is awesome, or people posting clips, and I'm like, can't you just, like, not ruin it for the rest of us? So I was very happy that I could stay away from spoilers. But now that I've rambled on for quite some time about this movie, <laughs> I'm going to stop. I do hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. I hope to do some more movie reactions maybe in the future. Uh, if you have anything you want to say about the movie or the, the franchise, because like I said, I do know the rest of the franchise, so nothing is really spoilers. There may be some things that I'm not as aware of, but for the most part, I know a good amount of, about the franchise. So if you want to say anything about the franchise or the epi or the movie or the reaction, please comment down below. I do post full episodes and early access on my Patreon, and you will be able to find the full reaction to this movie on my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, bye guys.